With so many moving parts, even the simplest websites can seem mysterious. In this video, we'll describe the parts of a website and how they work together. Every website is made up of a front end and a back end that work both together and independently of one another. The front end of a website is everything you see when you land on a web page. Think images, text, page layout, navigation, structure, and so on. Programmers use hypertext markup language, better known as HTML, cascading style sheets or CSS, and JavaScript to write the code that renders all of the front end elements and defines where these elements should display on the page. The back end of a website is what brings the front end to life. It's the programming and technology that powers a website. Stuff like servers, applications, and databases. Not long ago, building a website was a complex and time consuming task. Only a handful of people had the technical knowledge required to design and create a website's front end and implement and manage all of a website's back end tools and programming. Today, it's no longer a mysterious process only the brainiest of folks can do. Creating a website is simple, straightforward, and really quite easy. How did this happen? All in one site builder tools like GoDaddy's Website Builder have revolutionized website building. Tools like Website Builder are web based applications that use templates and drag and drop tools that allow you to quickly and easily design the front end of a website, while the application writes the necessary code for you in the background. And when you're finished building the front end, you just click Publish and the application seamlessly connects your website to the servers and technologies that power the back end of your website. See, you don't need a computer science degree or have to learn programming to build a website. All in one site builder tools like Website Builder make it possible for anyone to build their website's front end, write the code that makes it function, and even implement the back end technology to support it with just a few clicks.